We are about 15 or so miles northwest of world-famous Miami Beach as we are set for football at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami Gardens. The excitement brewing here in South Florida as a moment ago. The Dolphins starters were introduced to this home crowd. They're fired up as well as they get set to match up with the Indianapolis Colts. Miami set to take over. At their own 28-yard line. Two and now on first down. Throwing right, and that's complete. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Three yards the gain there, second down. Second and seven at the 31-yard line. From the gun, it's Tua. That's caught by the Notre Dame man. It's Durham Smythe. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A gain of 32 that time. We expected this defense to be tested by this passing game coming into this one. And there's an example on this first possession of the game. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Incomplete, but a penalty flag is down in the backfield. Let's get the call. They were looking to throw, holding on the big right tackle. That's real simple, partner. Keep your hands inside in the chest area. You're probably okay. You get it out on the shoulders, get them wide. Usually going to pick up a holding call. They're backed up here with a first and 20 now after the holding penalty. Off of play action, tongue of Iloa. And his throw is going to be incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. Here's the first carry from Matt Breida. They showed off the athletic juke. Good little gain there. Not a whole lot of real estate, but a nice carry. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. That's complete to his tight end, Mike Kosicki. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of the first down. Had just the one big play on the drive, but that was enough to put him in field goal range. They had one big play of what they hope will be many others throughout the game. Every team has a different target for the number of plays like that, those explosives that we talk about. That allowed him to put points on the board on that drive. We'll see how the rest of the game goes. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. River 
Rodgers, and the Colts going to come up first and 10 at their own 23. A man who played college football here in the Sunshine State, it's USF's Marlon Mack. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. When he runs, he seems to do a nice job of knowing when to be patient and find the hole, and then when the hole is there, he goes quickly. You're exactly right. He knows how to just take off, but you know what else? Brings a little thump with him, doesn't he? He does. He packs the boom at the end of the run and finishes it going forward. That's what you want to see out of your backs. And very little room to maneuver. He'll get this down to about the 39. It's a pick but that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play. It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Well, still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. The Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. This is Hines. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. He lost two, and it brings up four. Pretty straightforward play there by the linebacker. He saw the run, went with straight-ahead pursuit, and dumped him behind the line of scrimmage. Out is Rigoberto Sanchez on fourth down to punt this thing. Jakeem Grant back deep for Miami. And he'll get this away into the humid Florida sky. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Dolphins' drive will start deep in their own territory with a first and ten. So Miami coming out for their second drive. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way. That doesn't work too well for most teams. And he's going to go down. Back at his own five-yard line, it's a sack. That sack by the D.N. Danico Autry. I think most quarterbacks would love to have the goal line actually extend up into the air and turn into a wall. They could put their back against it and know exactly where they are on the field so they don't end up in the end zone. Didn't do it on that play, but perilously close to the goal line. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Here's Gaskin. And they won't fare much better here as he maybe gets back to the line. No gain on the play this time, and it'll be a third and long situation coming up. No gain on the play. Let's go ahead and detail this situation here. Third and long coming up. Back near your own goal line. I would be very hesitant about throwing the football in this situation. Maybe just run, run up the middle. Yeah, I think that that might be the spot for them. You got to try and find some space for your punter because you don't want him backed up where he has to alter what he does. And he'll take this forward only up to about the seven. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. We often talk of situational football. Let's just call it team football. The defense did their job, got off the field, brought up a punting situation, so they're turning the ball back over to their offense. You think those guys would get along very well right now? Of course they will. Defense helped the offense. Now it's their turn to take it downfield. Take it on the midfield logo. Call it an even 40-yard punt, 7-0 on the return. And the Colts are set up well as they take over first and 10 on the short side of the field. Rivers on first down. That's complete to Hines out of the backfield. Nothing on that one. It'll be second down. That's a nice job defensively to make sure everyone was accounted for because ordinarily you pick up the guys downfield and sometimes you forget about the running back. In this case, they did not and dropped him for no gain. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. 
Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 16 yards, a first down. They ran that one well. And not only did they pick up a nice chunk of yardage on the screen, they sent a message to the defense. Rush the passer all you want, but you better be careful. We can hit you going back the other direction. First down, Rivers. He's got Jack Doyle. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. A good pick up there, 22. This offense can certainly move quickly when they want to. Three plays, three pass completions. In the blink of an eye, they've got a first and goal. Almost felt like a lightning bolt hit in this game, didn't it, for them to get downfield that quickly? And now first and goal, expect them attack right here on this play. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Colts have taken the lead. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up. Meaning, when you get on a guy, you just stay right there. And each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. This is Jakeem Grant. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And the Dolphins getting set to go here. And it's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. And he'll be brought down by the Colts. The linebacker Darius Leonard applied the heat. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it. But it's really, really difficult. You're talking about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Malik Hooker, and he returns it into enemy territory down to the 45-yard line. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. So the special teams penalty cost some yardage there as they come out on first and 10. Rivers hands this one to Mack. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Number 25, Marlon Mack, the ball carrier. Down at the 41. Four yards on the pickup. Second and six. Now a second down and six. Working out of the gun, Rivers. A good throw here, finding Pascal. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Rivers from the gun on third down. The Dolphins do the job defensively there, and now it brings up fourth. And that went off the mark, a little late with a throw. Brings up fourth down.
So now on comes the field goal unit, and wow, this is no ordinary try here. This will be from 56 yards out. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. And that's the risk of the long field goal miss here at this stage of the second quarter. You give up great field position. And that gives them one more opportunity to make something happen and something big. And we've seen crazy stuff happen at the end of halves. Good starting field position for the Dolphins as they have it first and 10 at their own 46. Now an open man. That's the tight end. Gesicki, it's complete. And he'll be taken down by the face mask, it appeared. And yes, out come the flags. Out comes the Miami offensive unit. Now they get set to take over. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack him here. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. I always laugh when people say, what's the toughest route to defend? And I'm like, any of them, especially if it's a good receiver, that makes things very difficult. But when you're running a drag route, something short, Short, shallow, going through defenders, using guys almost as, as screens in order to get open. That makes things tougher, guys trying to get to the football. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. First foray into the red zone for Miami. They have a first and 10 at the 18. Looking to pass to him. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Two and a throw again. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. They wound up getting nothing out of that second down completion. So now here's third and 10. And again, it's Tunga Bailoa. The Colts D sticking to their assignments, and that brings up fourth. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get the third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. A 35-yard attempt. Sanders' kick is good. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's 2-for-2. Two two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high. After the field goal, here comes Sanders to kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And he returns this to the 22. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? Well, it's tempting to try and add to your lead. But a mistake there... That could change things in a big way. I say go ahead, take the knee, get on out for the half. On first and ten, Rivers. 
They'll find Hines out of the backfield. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. And a nice gain and a broken tackle along the way. And really, we shouldn't be surprised, should we? That's what runners do, especially the best ones. They break tackles and gain extra yardage. Final play of the half, Rivers. To the sideline, and it's caught, but boy, he's out of bounds. Well, they tried to get him into space coming out of the backfield, but it'll be third down. So we're at halftime with our score 7-6 in a tough-fought first half. As we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Out come the Colts. They'll have it first here to start quarter number three. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. Here's second and ten. From the gun, Rivers. And his throw's going to be incomplete. He was looking for Jack Doyle that time. But now it'll be third down. Nowadays, quarterbacks don't mind throwing into coverage because of the confidence they have in their receivers to come down with the ball. But sometimes you have to be careful you don't get too confident and throw an interception. An important play right here, third and ten. And I would expect pressure here. On third down, Rivers. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Jerome Baker. And he is not quite going to make it all the way in. They'll mark him down right about the one-yard line. The best starting field position you could possibly have. First and goal from the one. They'll try to run this one in. And he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Dolphins are going to jump back in front. Well, they had their chances in the first half, you remember, but had to settle for two field goals. This time, they come away with six. I think they actually got affirmation about what they were doing by getting a touchdown because the field goals means they got in range but couldn't quite finish it off. This time, they broke through, and that's great for the old confidence. And on the sideline, difference of a feeling between three and six, is it astronomical or no? It, 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 it can be at times, that's for sure. A lot of times, the field goal feels like a disappointment. The touchdown, well, that tells you you're getting it done. Touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. Rodgers on the return. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Indy set to go on offense once more. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. start on the ground with Mack. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away 
from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just stared the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage, able to knock that one away. To throw on third down, Rivers going up top. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for them. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. Now here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he'll punt it away for the second time. His first punt, 45 yards. This looks good as well. That'll be a 44-yard boot, just a yard on the return as he's covered up quickly. And it'll be Dolphin football. Miami set to take over, and they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. On play action. Here's Tua. Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. 15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely. First down. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. And his throw here is incomplete. Devontae Parker unable to hang on, but it'll be second down. Incomplete. It leads to second and ten. They fake the handoff. Now Tua. On the right side, open is Gasicki. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Now they'll try to convert on third and six after the four-yard completion. Tua setting up shop to throw again. And the throw there going to be incomplete. How about this defense? They came up with a couple big plays in this sequence, and none better than the one right there, forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. Here's Matt Hawk now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. And now Indianapolis set to take the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. And he'll get this one up to about his 14. Emmanuel Agba there on the stop. Well, sometimes as a running back, you've got to be able to improvise when the hole's not where you expect it to be. But in this case, there wasn't any improvisation that he could do that was going to work. Kind of like if you're trying to be a comedian on open mic night at the improv, and you run into a tough crowd. The second down attempt there, knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand, and it's incomplete. It certainly didn't appear that that's where he wanted to go with the ball initially, so he tried to get something out of it by dumping it off to his running back unsuccessfully. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. From the shotgun, it's Rivers. And that is incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. Fourth down. Now here's.
Here's Rigoberto Sanchez as he's on to punt for Indianapolis. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. So now here come the Dolphins. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. Definitely too early to panic, but that is his fourth carry of the game, and collectively has a total 10 yards. So maybe there's no panic, maybe some concern. Yeah, and maybe a little concern up front because they're not giving him any space right now. And the last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Forced out to his left. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. As a rookie quarterback, that's exactly how you endear yourself to your teammates. Give it up for the cause. It's also how you end up on the training table, too. Yeah, it's a catch-22. Coach doesn't like it. Teammates love it. Where do you fall on it? Well, I fall on wanting to endear yourself to your teammates, but pick your spots. Be smart about it. They need you for the full season. Yeah, the rookie's going to learn as he goes. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. So that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want them to catch the football first. Back now in Miami. It's Dolphin football. It's also Dolphin lead to begin quarter number four. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. This is Gaskin on the carry. And he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. Gets a pickup of four and it'll bring up second down. If you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously a guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Another run with Gaskin. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play, so now third down coming up. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. They'll run now with Gaskin, and he'll be tackled right on the 10, well short of the first down. Three yards won't be enough here, as that'll bring up fourth down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. A 27-yard attempt. The kick by Sanders is good. And they will move up by 10 now, 17 to 7. So that's a big one. Obviously, Charles makes it a two-score game, his third field goal of the game, able to knock it through. Yeah, not exactly free and clear yet, but as a defense, you get to play a little bit looser, don't you? Because you do now have a little bit of a margin of error, don't you? Sanders to kick it away. 
And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Here comes the Indianapolis offense now as they get set to take over. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But so, hey, listen, there's some guy, there might be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. Those short little routes probably going to be open. The defense, they'll let those happen, especially when they can make an inbounds tackle. Yeah, where's Coach Madden when you need him? He always talked about taking what the defense gives you, but sometimes you have to know when you have to take more. That was one of those situations. Throwing again on second down. Rivers throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. Third down and three yards to go. The Colts on third down. A pretty woeful 0 for 5 thus far. Here it's third and three. Operating from the gun. Rivers. And he's got his man, Hilton. And he is going to have a Colts first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Rivers to Hilton there, first down Indy. Now correct me if I'm wrong, you know, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Rivers now, the throw on first down. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. Rivers incomplete on first down. Here's second and 10. To throw again, Rivers. His throw incomplete. Coverage that time by Bobby McCain. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. The Colts on third down. They've had their troubles. Just one for six. This is third and ten. Rivers again. Throw left side complete. It's Hines. Rivers That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. Boy, how good has this defense been seemingly all game long? I really think right from the first snap, I think you're really onto something there. In this passing game, it just can't get off the ground. In that play, it wound up losing yardage. Rivers to throw for it on fourth. And yeah, that is incomplete, but there is a flag. And on fourth down, this is a big call. So flag for the contact, pass interference. And I know that you're going to look at me and roll your eyes, and rightfully so, because you know what I'm going to say. Doesn't the defender have a right to the football as well? No, I just, I don't like defenders. <laughs> That's because you spent too much time with me. Okay, I'll side with you on this one. This is the correct call. A first down throw here for Rivers. And almost intercepted. It would have been his second pick of the game. Instead, it'll be second down. He started out having some troubles back in the first half connecting with his receivers. Really hasn't gotten a whole lot better. Yeah, he's at less than 50%, and you and I both know that just won't do. So I would think about spreading things out, putting it on the receivers, make them win those one-on-one -on -one battles on the perimeter and find their way open. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back and brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A gain of 13, it's a first down. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield, a really nice pickup. on first down over the middle here it's Hilton seven yards the pickup on the pitch and catch 13, Hilton. 
A seven-yard pickup brings up second and three at the Dolphins' 16-yard line. Now the Colts moving quickly here in the hurry-up offense. A play fake to Mack, now Rivers. That is caught inside the five. Rivers and the Colts are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. At the Sets him up nicely, first and goal. It was a pickup of 14. Rivers has been through this many times as he'll hustle his guys to the line. Here's Rivers. And this is caught down for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. Okay, game on. Don't go anywhere yet. You got a one-score game now. Probably going to rely on the onside kick coming up. Yeah, they have to. It's not a high percentage play, but it's better than not having a chance at all. And that's when you put your leapers and your flyers on one side, get that high hop, and hope that one of the guys can come up with it. And on the other side, get that hands team ready. No doubt about it. Point after, right down the middle. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So with just over a minute to play, this becomes a make-or-break onside kick. And the Dolphins are going to recover. The onside kick. A tough one there. They certainly wanted that when they needed it, but they didn't absolutely have to get it. They still do have three timeouts. You're exactly right. They had to attempt it. But even though they didn't get it, as you noted, with three timeouts, if they can get these stops on defense, all hope is not lost. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as it comes with exactly a minute to go in the football game. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And checking the timeouts, they do have two defensively, but no real need to use them as they're not going to be able to stop the clock after that. So second and nine, and you'd have to figure just about all 11 probably crashing the line here. On the handoff, it's Gaskin. Now the Colts going to burn the second of their timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. And for the Colts, an extra defensive back in there now on third down. To throw is Tua. And it's caught by Parker. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Victory very likely now for the Dolphins as they take a knee here. Down to an ego's Tua, and that should just about do it.
So a victory here for the Miami Dolphins. And it wasn't really always pretty. They had their bumps and bruises. Really, both sides did. But they did what they needed to do at home to get the win. Yeah, they really had to grind this one out, didn't they? Because nothing came easy. Every snap was a major league brawl. They had to win at the line of scrimmage, win downfield. They got all those things accomplished. But to win a close one like this, you know, every team wants to be physical. We've heard that a million times, right? But those who are mentally tough, those are the teams that you have to deal with in the playoffs. This was that type of a game. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. From Miami, so long, everybody. Not headed to the airport for this one. One more day here will suit me just fine.